So we are here um, near Palin, in a place called Boyaca. We are a little bit on the west of uh, Palin town. And this is a place where you have a, a group of miners working on the ruby and sapphire. This area you have, in the same place, you have ruby and sapphire. So this is a secondary deposit. So you can see here the miner at the back, they are washing the ground using high pressure water. So they are turning the ground into mud and then there is an aspiration and they take all this uh, mud to the jig here. So with the jig you will have a separation, you know, a uh, gravitational separation. So everything that will be light will be taken away and the sapphire will be trapped inside the jig. And at the end of the day the miner will open the jig and be able to recover the rubies and sapphires, the zircon, exactly the way we saw yesterday. So these people are very experienced miners. The leader of the group is Mr. Doyle, and he's working with his brother. What is interesting here is that his brother was a, a former soldier during the war, he lost his leg, but he got a prosthesis. And uh, with this prosthesis, he can work again as a normal person, working in the mine and helping his family to make a living. Mr. Doyle and his group, they are professional miners, so they go around Pali and they make the deal with the landowners in order to mine the, the area. So uh, now it's a little bit difficult for them because most of the area were mined already. So they are working, today they are working here, but maybe next year they will mine somewhere else. But for the past uh, eight years, I witnessed all the time Mr. Doyle working here or there, and he is very, he's a very experienced miner. Mr. Doyle is just involved in mining, he is not doing any trading. So at the end of the day when he collects the stone, usually you have some gem merchants they are calling to him and they come to see him, you know, at his house in the evening and they come to buy uh, rubies and sapphires. He's not going to the market. Just uh, staying at the mine and at his house, mining and staying at his house, resting and then mining again. So the interest for us to come here, uh, besides well, documenting the thing, uh, as I work for the laboratory, is to collect the samples directly from the miners. So I come here, witness the mining, see what Mr. Doyle is doing, and at the end of the day, we uh, see when he is opening the jig, and we can collect sapphires and rubies directly from the miner on the mining site at the jig. So we are sure like that that these stones have not been heat-treated and that they are really coming from that place. So these stones will be used as a reference sample for the GIA and uh, for the GA laboratory, so they will be integrated in the GA reference collection.